Let's look at lactic acid and try to decide which atomic orbitals make up the molecular orbitals in a bond. We'll look at the carbon-oxygen bond shown here. Are those bonds made up from an sp on carbon and an sp on oxygen? A pz carbon, pz oxygen, or sp2 carbon, sp3 oxygen? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at possible explanations for each of the answers. A, the bond is linear, so sp orbitals are used on both atoms. B, the internuclear axis is z, so the pz orbitals on both atoms are used. Or C, the carbon has steric number 3 and the oxygen has steric number 4, so the bond is sp2 to sp3. Think about those three possible explanations and make a selection. We're talking about the molecular orbitals that are formed between the carbon and the oxygen in lactic acid. So the carbon has to accommodate this oxygen, this oxygen, and this carbon. It'll be sp2 hybridized, accommodate three things with three equivalent orbitals. The oxygen has to accommodate the carbon, the hydrogen, and two lone pairs, four things, so it'll have four equivalent orbitals, or sp3s. So the molecular orbital is going to be an overlap of the sp3 on the oxygen with the sp2 on the carbon. Those will form a sigma bonding, an antibonding orbital, to make up this sigma bond. So the correct answer here, sp2 on carbon to sp3 on oxygen.